Hi guys, just Tim from TJP Auto. Um, for those people that don't know, TJP Auto and 4x4 do a lot of suspension upgrades, lift kits, things like that. Um, we also do a lot of normal mechanical repairs. We've also got a wave bridge, so we do a little bit of vehicle weighing and we see um, common issues that people come across with vehicles, especially when towing vans and stuff like that. Um, so I just thought I'd do a quick video on the new 23, 24 Ford F-150 coming into Australia. Now all these specs are on the Lariat. I own an F-150 of 2022. Um, so I know a bit about them, and to be honest, the XLT that they're bringing in, if most people are gonna buy the Lariat in the five foot five bed, so that's what these specs are on. Um, I'm just gonna run through the numbers that they give us on this Ford spec sheet, and then I'll run through a couple of other things afterwards, but I'll just quickly run through the numbers on the spec sheet. So the curb weight on the F-150 includes a full tank of fuel. That's one thing to remember, not all, not all curbs do, but the Ford F-150 curb weight does include 136 litres of fuel, which is the tank size in the F-150. And the curb weight is 2,535 kilos. The maximum GVM, so the maximum weight the vehicle can be with a van on the back of it, loaded up, whatever, is 3,220. And the maximum gross combined weight is 7,720. So that's truck, trailer combined. That's the maximum it can weigh. Now the payload on the 2023 24 F-150 Lariat is 685 kilos. That's how much weight you can put in the car with a full tank of fuel already in it. Now, you might think, yeah, that's heaps. And look, for a couple, it's probably okay. For a young or a small family, it's not. It's not a lot of weight to be able to put in that vehicle. Um, especially if you start looking at putting things like canopies and stuff on the back of it, a canopy's 100 kilos. So you're already down to 585, or someone put some drawers and some stuff in the back of it. You're going to be tight on weight and you put your ball weight on it as well it's not ideal and it's not great it's not you've got more payload in a ford ranger than you in an f-150 bit of a mistake on ford's behalf um front axle capacity is 1633 kilos rear is 1882 kilos um there may be potential for a gvm upgrade on them um as to whether someone goes through the process or not because the two actual capacities actually are to three and a half tonnes. So you can gain 300 kilos, almost 300 kilos, by just upgrading it to the actual capacities. I don't know why they haven't done that in the first place. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Ford missed the boat. They're bringing in a vehicle that everyone's gonna be buying to tow, and they've given it 685 kilos payload. Now, you towing a three and a half tonne van Take 350 kilos off that, you're left with 335 kilos left. Put you, your missus and the kids, and the canopy on it, bang, you're overweight. You, the missus and the kids, and a bit of gear, you're gonna be close. So realistically, the most you can tow with a new F-150 is gonna be about four ton, no matter what. Um, and look, and that I've got a, so as I said at the start, I've got a 2022 F-150, um, mine was imported um, by the guys up at Faber F Trucks in Sydney. So it's a V8 model, it's not a V6 model. Um, I've got a, about a 1200 kilo payload, payload um, and it's also a short bed. So I don't know why Ford Australia had brought them in and, and done this, it's odd, it's odd. Now, obviously the V8's possibly lighter um, because it's a full aluminum engine. So that does take quite a bit of difference in the curb weight. Um, but yeah, that I, I don't know why they look, and it's an error margin thing and that's why they don't play the, the actual capacities, so, so you may be able to, and there is a possibility that you may be able to get a GVM upgrade to the actual capacity, and if we can, um, that'd be fantastic, because that's where it should be. Now, just a couple of other things on them with, with towing. Now, the ones they're bringing in have got the max tow package on them, which mine has as well, um, but, but, and I'll say a but, once you put about 300, 350 kilos on the back of it, you're gonna want rear springs. Um, the stock springs are good up to about 300 kilos, I'd say, Maybe even 350 that the sag isn't bad, but after you get sort of 350 kilos on the back of it, you're gonna to wanna to go up, especially with a full tank of fuel, you will notice a little bit of sag, a bit of lightness in the front steering. It's not bad, um, but yeah, I'd say over 350 kilos, you're gonna have to start looking at rear springs. Anything under that, you, you're not gonna, it's gonna be fine. Um, my personal opinion of towing with it, fantastic. Would I buy another one? 100%, do I like it? Absolutely. Heaps of room, especially if you've got a family with kids, um, four ton towing, which being realistic, you, you really sort of need these days. Um, especially if you're traveling with a bunk fan, 
most, a lot of bunk bands are coming out with a tear weight of around 2,800, 2,900 kilos now. Um, by the time you chuck some water and some gear in it, if you're only doing weekends or a week or two here and there, it'd probably be okay to stay under that three and a half. But if you're gonna go do a big lap or we've just done six months on the road, you're gonna do six months on the road, you're gonna want that four tonne. Um, so yeah, four tonne towing, it's borderline, really is guys. It really is borderline with that low curb weight. If you've got 400 kilo ball, you can only put 285 kilos in your truck. It's not great. Um, so so yeah, it's, it's one of those things. There is going to be, as I was saying, the Ford Ranger does have a factory higher payload. Um, the new Ranger next gen. There will be a four ton towing coming out for the next gen Ranger March, April next year and a 4,000 kilo GVM for the Ranger. Maybe a better option than the F-150. I don't know because I haven't towed with one to say how it tows. Um, the F-150, it, it's going to tow it fine. It's stable on the road, but the, the low payloads are concerns. Just something to think about and just think, think, oh, I'm going to go buy an F-150. I have no weight issues. You probably will, to be honest especially if you want to put a canopy and drawers and stuff like that in it. I had an issue with mine and I had 1200 kilos of payload and I only had 380 kilos in the ball. I put a canopy on the back, drawers, a water tank in the back, a second battery, um, a dog, a fridge and a wheelchair and I was over by 200 kilos. So the drawers and everything had to come out, tank had to come out um, and I thought I had heaps. So it's just something to be very aware of. Don't just expect because it's an American truck that you're gonna shit it in on weight and you're gonna be fine because there's a fair chance you'll be over and you really need to look at your specs. You got any questions, pick up the phone, ring someone like us, ring your local guys that do um, vehicle weighing or GVMs and stuff like that and they'll tell you straight, don't rely on what the dealer's gonna tell you because they're gonna tell you whatever they can to sell you a car. Thanks guys.